What's up guys, Black Hole here and welcome back to another video and today we're back on Pro Stack Manager 2020 for stage number 6 of our Giro d'Italia playthrough. We've done a quick step, today's stage will take us from Castroviare to Matera, it is 188 kilometers for a hilly stage with a hilly finish uh, which could suit the likes of Davide Valerini yet again, I know, uh, I'll most likely finish second as I've done a... On, on a couple of occasions already on a, on this zero. But if you've missed the previous episodes, I highly recommend you to go and check them out. Uh, we are currently on the podium of this zero with James Knox. Um, and that we've done quite well. I, I, I'm going to big myself up for once. We, we've done quite well with uh, with Mr. Knox uh, managing to be in third place. The GC uh, right now is as it stands. We've got Vincenzo Nibali 50 seconds ahead of Kroivak and then 157 ahead of James Knox. Um, I think Miguel Angel Lopez is about 20 seconds behind us, and then P5 is already 2 or 3 minutes down. So we've narrowed our reach to a top 4 finish. Uh, we'll, we'll see if we can go any higher, but for now my uh, main objective, for those who didn't know when I started this race, was the, um, the points and the mountain classification. Points is going to be tough, because Vincenzo Nibali already has 3 wins after 6 stages. Uh, however, in the mountain one... We might still be able to do something, and for the best strong rider, James Knox is well and truly here. Uh, but I'm going to stop talking because that's already too much for the intro. And uh, I'll see you on the road in Castroviari. And we're on the way. We're on the way for this uh, stage number six of the Giro. Uh, Ballerini with a plus two. That's quite important. It could prove to be quite useful in the finish. Joel Meida, uh, minus one. I slightly upped its, uh, his stats. I, I got him uh, plus one mountain. Sim in Central plus two, I think, in Prologue, uh, and I slightly upped his secondaries uh, because he's currently very good on Giro. I know uh, I said he wasn't going to be the Canucks leader. Turns out he is, uh, and I'm happy for him. I'm happy for him. I still don't think he's going to finish on the podium, um, but I'm, I'm very happy for him. I really am. Um, already some attacks, though. We have the likes of Luca Cirico and uh, F. Romano Francesco. We'll go with Francesco Fabrizio. Isabel, Daniel Ovis, ben, uh, ben Gastauer, Camille Hadek, Stefano Oldani. Uh, do I send someone? There's seven points to take. Uh, we'll send Michael Frolich on away. All right, let's take a look at the breakaway. Uh, we have Eros Capecchi for Bahrain McLaren, Michael Frolich on for the Conang, Daniel Ovis for NTT, Rick Zabel for Israel, Oldani for Lotus Sudal, uh, Eduardo Zardini for Vinny Zabu, Ben Gastauer for Aja Dezer, Luca Cirico for Androne, Camille Hadek for CCC. Romano, Mazzucco, and Tonelli for Bardiani. We also have Camille Melecki for, um, for CCC. Daniel Navarro is also here for Israel. Jonathan Restrepo is there for Androni. Lorenzo Rota is there for Vini Zabu. Uh, former stage winner, I think. No, no, Daniel Chima, my bad. Chima was a stage winner uh, last year. And Matthew Holmes, the winner of the Willinger Hill, is also here for um, the, uh, the Belgian team Lotto Sudal. The gap is just under 3 minutes. Um, it's fluctuating around the 3 minute mark. Um, as Jonas Gregor, Fernando Gaviria, James Willen, Salvatore Puccio are pacing in the peloton. Quite a lot of teams. Uh, not really GC axed teams. I mean, Astana, yes, for Miguel Angel Lopez, but I really don't see why Gaviria is being pacing. He's been pacing every single day. Uh, I guess the good is he feels like he's uh, able to take the win today. And it turns out the peloton is going to catch us quite earlier than I thought. Uh, it appears they'll catch us maybe before the, um, the summit of Milota, or Miota, the um, third category club of the day. It's quite weird, it's quite weird. Uh, I, I, I expected this stage to maybe be a breakaway one, or uh, like, I mean... I didn't expect to get co-op with more than 30k to go, which it's, it's quite rare for BCM. Um, but the peloton has started the climb. Ramon Sinkeldam and Pavel Polianski are here for their respective sprinters, Pete Sagan and Arno de Mar, actually no, Arno de Mar and Pete Sagan. Uh, meanwhile, we've got Lorenzo Rota gone in the breakaway. Uh, he's just a few seconds ahead of Michael Frolich and Eric Ben Gastaway trying to attack. Capek in the wheel, Daniel Lovis, but the uh, rider from Luxembourg is not making a single difference as the peloton has come back on Michael Frolich Honoré and the rest of the breakaway, except for Lorenzo Rota. We're going to increase the rhythm because uh, I don't want to get dropped with someone like James Knox. Uh, Vincent is very high in the peloton. So is Jacob uh, Fulsang and Arnaud Demar, actually. Arnaud, quite surprisingly high in the peloton. 
uh, but I did expect the Frenchman to come back. James Knox, I'd also expect you to come back uh, in, in a few like meters, please. And Michael Frolifonere got first at the climb. Uh, that is plus seven for the Dane. James Knox is here. Get him. So in case you go, we are starting the uh, ascension towards Matera. Nine kilometers, uh, an average gradient of three uh, percent. However, there is a long downhill portion, so we'll see uh, how that goes. I have no real idea. Uh, the finish though looks quite steep, um, so we might see some attacks. Yeah, I'm expecting someone like Jakob Fulsang, uh, typically to, to go and make a move. Someone like maybe Diego Lisi as well. Um, we'll see what happens. Pete Sagan is already very high as well, and the peloton is already in P5. Uh, right next to Jonathan Kaiseto, the winner at the uh, at nine in real life. Where's uh, where's our team? James Knox is there. Michael Frolichonore might get dropped, uh, but I mean I wouldn't mind, uh, or at least I wouldn't uh, like hold them uh, hold them accountable. Sorry. Eight kilometers. Come on, boys. Attacks. Simon Clark is the first one to make a move. The leader of EF. And we need to be extremely vigilant. We need to stay on our toes. Make sure that the uh, Australian doesn't go. Pierre Bilbao is joining him with Pete Sagan and Michael Matthews. And then it is uh, Julien Bernard leading the way for Trek Sigurdo and Vincenzo Nibali. Six kilometers left. We're going to start that little downhill. James Knox has made it back at the front of the race. Uh, Pete Seri is dead, so Joel Maida can protect the, port the uh, British rider. Let's increase the rhythm a bit more in this final slope. Uh, I'm not seeing Vincenzo. Vincenzo is a bit further down. Compared to uh, what you are, uh, what, what you, we used to see from uh, from this qualo, we're going to use our gels. Davide Ballerini can take the will of James Knox now, uh, and I guess we're going to increase the rhythm. There should be a slight downhill, uh, which might help us somewhat, or at least we'll try. 1.4k. There goes James Knox. Peter Sagan and Michael Matthews will have the advantage on us. Uh, so we need to start the sprint a bit earlier than them. Can Ballerini hold on? Come on, Davide. Against Michael Matthews, Diego Ulissi and Pete Sagan. And the win today is for Davide Ballerini. It's a win for the Conan Quickstep on the Giro. Michael Matthews in second place with Diego Ulissi, Pete Sagan, Jakob Fulsang, Vincenzo Nibeli in sixth position. Simon Clark, Arnaud Demar, Nicolas Conchi and Diego Abrambia to complete the top ten. We finally have our win on this Giro. Also, it is worth mentioning the very nice 8th position from Arnaud Demar on a quite a, a tough finish. It's nice to see the Frenchman doing, uh, well, doing well. Doing well, Gary Thomas in 18th, James Knox in... Uh, no, sorry, Thomas in 17th and James Knox in 18th. Uh, we're not going to lose any time. Today, Lopez is in 13th. I mean, I'm not seeing Krovac in the top 20. I don't think he's had an issue, but you never know. Come on, it's the first win for us. It's the first win, uh, and it's a very nice one. It's a very nice win from Davide Valerini today, uh, coming back on that Clark Matthews Sagan group uh, and managing to edge the Australian just on the line. Diego Lissi in third place to complete the podium. We saw Gaviria pacing, and he was in good shape. He was in good shape. Vincent Sonibeli, though, keeps his pink jersey. Nothing changes in the top 10, uh, at least not that I can see, although I didn't have the top 10 in my head. Uh, but what I can tell you is that the five is still the same. Uh, it's still Nibeli, Krovac, Knox, Lopez, and Rafa Maika. Uh, um, points wise, no, oh, is it points? No, it's Mountain. Mountain is still Vincent and Nibeli. Michael Frelichonore makes a slight comeback. Points wise, Nibeli stays in the lead, but Davide Ballerini is going to wear the Cyclamen jersey of the points. James Knox is still in white, increasing his gap over Lucas Hamilton, and the best team is still the Astana Pro team. Oh, that was fun. I enjoyed that race. I enjoyed that stage. Uh, I'm trying to see if there's anyone dropped that was somewhat important, uh, but I do not think so. Uh, yeah, nah. No, 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 no. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. All the leaders were here. Um, Andromeda losing a few seconds. Masnada making it in the top 25. Love that. But it's a win for Ballerini. Uh, I was looking for that win, and we finally got it. Uh, it came out stage 6 after so many second places. It's finally nice to uh, to finally be the winner of uh, of a Grand Tour stage. GC wise, you saw it. Nothing changed. Uh, tomorrow's stage shouldn't see anything change either. Between Matera and Rindisi, it's going to be very flat, 143 kilometers. Quite a short sprint stage as well, uh, high paced. So I don't know. Maybe if there's wind, uh, I don't know if there's any likeliness of wind in that stage, but you never know. If there is, we might see uh, some damage. But uh, if there isn't. It shall be a, a very calm day for the leaders uh, as they'll head into the rest day. 
uh, and the stage 8 um, with uh, refreshed legs. But yeah, that'll be for the uh, upcoming episodes of this Jerry Detailer playthrough. If you enjoyed today's episode, then please do leave a like down below. If you're new on here, then please do consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. Uh, it would genuinely, genuinely mean a lot. But I shall catch you in the very near future. My name has been Blackwell. Have a wonderful day. Enjoy the Jiro, and goodbye. Pull up, pull up in the gold, I'm bleeding. What the mother man need feeding? I don't want to go bomby. Them, I don't know what I do when I go from bleeding. Leading the pack in black, and I'm on with the bear. Snapping with a phone and dab. I'll stop a man with a duster. Put him in a drip and sip, blockbuster.